people. And I have comms with everybody I need to have comms with. When all my equipment works, when I've got a solid GPS feed, when everything is, is secure and working the way it is, uh, I'm going to be the most lethal guy on the battlefield. Our deterrence, though, is more in the aspect that they know that we can detect something from Russia, North Korea, China, and our certain coverage area. So this radar, using our system, we can track something the size of a softball at 3,000 nautical miles. Search and rescue should be easy in a combat environment. It's a guy on the ground who wants to be found and wants to get out of there. If you're isolated on the ground, you're probably scared, alone, a little bit of afraid. Uh, now we can send messages back to that person to reassure them, let them know that something is going on in the background to help them get them out. I've had soldiers turn around and ask me like, hey, do you have good comms or do you, is your, your equipment working? I'll say yes, and then they'll literally smile because they know that they're gonna be safe and they're gonna be fine. Having that advantage it, yeah, it absolutely kind of gives you a little bit of cockiness in a, in a good way, in a warranted way, because no one's going to do anything to us when all those things are up. First and foremost, the first priority of any JTAC, whether the TAC or combat control, is to prevent fratricide. So the biggest thing something like GPS does is I know where everybody is, and it takes something the size of a watch, and now every soldier knows exactly where they are. And they don't even need to know what those numbers mean, they just need to tell them to me, and I'll know where they are. You see that, like the war the last 15 years, you're doing these danger close attacks where it's the other side of the street or the next building over uh, and the precision that we have now is so much more important than it was. So if you look at you know World War II where it takes 20,000 you know bombs to hit a target now today it's, it's one weapon one kill with increased standoff and reliability. Growing up as a kid like you watch all the movies you know about astronauts and jets and everything like that. Um, I always wanted to kind of be up in the air. You just never really realize I guess what a civilian would have, you got your little Tom Tom, your GPS, your iPhone or something like that. And then when you get coming into the Air Force and kind of seeing how it guides aircraft, how people can report locations, how you can use munitions to drop on that, uh, you can use space to find targets, analyze movement and do all this litany of stuff that you only kind of dreamt about watching Discovery Channel as a kid, it's, it's pretty amazing. GPS has just worked for us. so I. I use it constantly every day. I know where guys are. I know where I am now. I can use that to find out where the enemy is, things like that. So uh, that gets taken for granted because it has been so reliable for us. I don't have this particular instance where like GPS saved the day because it's just always been part of what we're doing. Today, no one even considers GPS not being an option or it not working. Uh, we talk about it and we think about it, but it's, it's a light switch and it just works. Like you flip the switch, you have GPS. No, I don't want to be in a fair fight. The advantage is that America's military is so well trained and equipped that even if you take everything away, we're still better than you. Uh, but when you add all the capabilities that we have, when you add the technology, when you get me down to that five minute window, uh, that's absolutely what I'm going to prefer because we're going to win that fight. We're going to win it so fast that you won't even know what happened. All of my guys are going to be safe and you're not going to send anymore because you know you're, you're just going to lose.